Welcome back to the Getting Started with OpenScope MZ video series. I'm Sam Kristoff from Digilent, and in this video, I'll show you how to calibrate the OpenScope MZ. You'll need to calibrate the OpenScope as soon as you get it new out of the box before you can use it. And we recommend that you recalibrate anytime you change environments and there's an extreme temperature difference. Other than that, you don't need to recalibrate the OpenScope every time you use it. To get started, launch Waveforms Live if you don't have it open already, and add a device. You can add the OpenScope uh, via Wi-Fi or the agent. Either way will work for calibration. I have mine added uh, through an agent, so you can see it's localhost 42135 and COM3. To calibrate, I'll click the More button and choose Configure, and it will alert me already that the device is uncalibrated. I'll hit OK to launch the calibration screen. And it provides instructions on what you need to do before you start calibration. So you can see it says connect DC out one to OSC one. That's the solid red wire to the solid orange wire. So I have just a little uh, piece of wire here and I'll connect the solid orange wire and the solid red wire by just pressing my piece of wire into the connector on the red wire and on the orange wire. All right, and then it says to wire DC out two to OSC two. So that's the solid white wire to the solid blue wire. So here's my solid blue and solid white. And again, I'll just press my wire into those connectors to connect them. All right, now that I've made all the necessary connections, I'll click begin. During calibration, the open scope is going to generate a bunch of voltages and signals and measure those and determine the offset uh, that's just intrinsic to the hardware that it's built out of. This usually takes about 35 seconds and we'll just let it run until it's done. All right, now that calibration is complete, we can see some of the calibration information up top and we can choose a storage location to save the calibration data. Uh, you can see that I have flash available right now. If I had an SD card in the open scope, I could also choose to save it there. Uh, this button would let me refresh those locations. So if I wanted to add an SD card quick right now, I could do that, um, but I'll just save it to flash. I'll click save and we can see that the save was successful. Now, when I click done, you can see that my current calibration changed to flash. If you ever need to recalibrate, just come back to this menu Click Calibrate, and it'll launch the calibration menu again.